Hi, you guys. I am trying to stay off of my hips today because I've been doing too much. And uh, so today I'm spending in bed and figured might as well do the stamp haul video while I'm trying to stay off my legs. <clears throat> These, uh, this amazing collection of wood mounted stamps was uh, graciously uh, given to me by Cameo. That's Cameo Collections on YouTube. I'll make sure when I put this video on YouTube that um, I will put a link below to her channel. Please go show her some support. She's an amazing YouTuber and a very dear friend. All right, let's get started with the haul. Okay, first off is an embossing kit right here. It came in a little bag. It has one stamp, and this stamp is very cute. So I have a couple dancing. And, of course, it has the... Um, the ink, and then also all of the embossing powders and liquid. So, I'm going to have fun playing with that. Lots and lots of fun playing with that. Alright, set this aside and start showing you the stamps. There's a whole bunch. Hi, Scats Farmer! Alrighty, so... Some of these are huge, like massive, massive, massive ones. This one is very cute. It's got a bunch of flowers, and it says the words, of course, with love. Very, very cute. With love. All right. This one, it looks like it may be a stamp of a magnifying glass. It could also be a stamp of a tennis racket or some type of sports racket. But my guess is it was originally supposed to be a magnifying glass. But you can see the size of that stamp compared to my hand. It's, it's a pretty good size. This one is super cute. It is a stamp of a glove. Looks like it could be either a leather glove or maybe a cotton glove. I'm guessing cotton glove because of this down here. I thought that's pretty cute. Well, let me get this a little closer to me so I can easily reach it. This one I really like a lot, and I think I will get a lot of use out of this one. It's just a square with the nice little ribbon-looking squiggly line going through it. Lucy, come up here so I can make sure you're not scratching, please. Thank you. All right, and then here is a very cute one that is kind of a uh, nice design around a frame. Now, these wooden mounted stamps can be used for so many different arts and crafts projects. Um, I'm going to probably be playing a lot with these with making backgrounds and um, give extra uh, interest to the background. And then also... Um, with doing the jelly plate. Um, wood mounted stamps can be used with jelly plates, so I'm gonna be playing around with that a little bit. I have yet to do that, but I'm gonna be checking that out at some point. Sorry, you guys keep sliding down. All right, here is one of two little bath towels, which I thought this was super, super cute. Very cute little design. This one would be fun to make a background with. It is some hand prints and then some little curly cues. Lucy, say, sorry, she's shaking the bed with her scratching. Here, come here. I'll put your little collar on you and then you can go running around the house. I just can't let you run around the house if you're going to be out there scratching and causing yourself issue. We'll give you a bath a little bit later. Poor Chihuahua. She's like, no, not the donut neck. All right, go play or something, Chihuahua. Um, she's got allergies, so trying to keep her from scratching. Okay. <laughs> this one I thought was super cute. It's like a ribbon that's kind of framing an area. And I like that it's not like a really like cute bow. It's kind of a sloppy bow. I like that. I think it's kind of cute. It gives it some character. Next up is a cute little cowboy scene. 
with the frame and then of course it's got the little kind of southwest or country style designs super cute another one is this really really cute film strip stamp which I'm coming up with quite a few designs uh, ideas for this one super excited to to play with this stamp right there let's get this closer this one very very cute it is an archway with some flowers and as you see, the price on this, $1.99. Talk about a good deal, man, because this is a huge stamp. Look at that. It's as big as my hand. Massive. You buy these brand new, you're, you're looking at quite a bit of money for these size stamps. This one also is just a frame style design. This one was only 99 cents, is what the tag says. I'm going to pull the tag off of there so you can see the design. This one kind of reminds me of the ocean and kind of uh, like a little bit of seaweed and stuff. thought it was very pretty. Very nice size stamp, as you can see, compared to my hand. Alrighty. This one, I'm going to try to pull the stickers, the price tags. I don't think any of these were over $1.99 on the prices. I think that um, all the price tags on here are $1.99 or less from what I can see. But I'll try to take the price tags off so you can see the design. All right. This is a cute little heart design and it's got some flowers and a little bow. Again, very nice size stamp which will make, um, make it very versatile with capabilities of utilizing it. Sorry, I'm going to get these price tags off as we go so I don't have to try to do that later. There we go. Alright, now this one, as soon as I get the price tag off so you can see the design in its entirety. All right, there we go. Cute little window scene with a little roof arch, and it's very cute and very sweet. Which I'm thinking, like some kind of a a little small little uh, drawing portrait thing, and then do the stamp over top of it. So then that way it's like they're you know looking out of the window. All right, this one is so freaking cute. It's a little boy and his dog fishing. Isn't that adorable? Look how cute that is. It's very sweet. Very, very sweet. Here's one that is very, very odd, but you know, you never know when you can use this type of stamp. It's a stamp of a wooden board. It even has the nail holes and everything. Isn't that kind of cool? Welcome back, Scouts Farmer. Well, this one that's got the price tag right on the front, you can't even see the design. Why would they do that? They could do the prices on the side, silly goose. All right. This one I thought was really cute because it's got a nice checkerboard design in it. This could be fun for uh, doing a background. Definitely would give lots of texture and interest to a page. Next up is another one that is kind of like a frame design, and this is framed with a bow. Now this is a uh, not a sloppy bow like the last one I showed you that was like that, but this is more of a standard formal bow, but it's cute. It's a cute stamp and I like the size of it too. It's lots of space. Lots and lots of space. 
All right, next up, again, they put these stupid, thank goodness these are easy to peel off, otherwise I'd be really, really agitated by it. All right, this one is a very, very pretty design with the flowers and the little lace look to it. Very zentangly looking. Okay, here is another checkerboard one. It's a slightly different. It's uh, got a bigger checkered design. I do like how it's got the little stitching around the edges. I think that looks very cute. And another checkerboard design, but this is more of a crisscrossy rather than a standard checkerboard. I like that. Got a nice little design on it. Now this is uh, similar to the boards one, but this is three in a row, and they're kind of offset. But if you're doing like um, a building or a barn or something like that, or even maybe a fencing or whatever, you could probably come up with a really nice design utilizing this pattern. stamp of a paintbrush. I thought that was very, very cute. Price tags sticking to me. And this one's cute. This is a, uh, it looks like a little girl with a summer hat and she's got a little bird resting on her hand. Very cute. This one is, it looks like a, at first I thought it was supposed to be like a coffee cup or something, but then I looked a little closer and saw, no, it's a pin cushion. It's a cup that's being used as a pin cushion. Cute little design on that. And of course, another Now this one is a stippling stamp. Um, stippling, for those who are not familiar with that term, is what it's called when you use the technique of taking a pen or pencil and doing a bunch of little dots to create a design. That's called stippling. Um, so this is a stamp that has been stippled. It's got the little dot design. It kind of looks like it's a target. It's pretty cool. All right, next up is a very cute stamp of a bathtub with bubbles. I like the old fashioned style tubs, very cute. Another stamp with a sticker price tag on the front. Let me get that cleaned up. This one's very cute. It's a little basket with a bow, little Easter basket style design. Next one goes very well with that uh, stamp of a paintbrush. Paint. All right, this I thought was very, very cute too. All right, sorry. Get all this stupid price tags off the front of these things. One second. Taking this embossing stuff out so I can put these price tags in this little bag. There we go. That's better. Okay, here's a stamp of a tie. Thought that was cute. Here is another one that is um, similar to some of these other ones, but not exact. I bet it's the same company made all those. And here's another one. It's almost like it's a uh, quilt swatch. Hmm. That could be interesting. I'll have to play around with that. Maybe I can come up with something cool. Cute little stamp of buttons. All 
There's another little kind of soft design. Little hearts and flowers. Ooh, cute star. Aww. Little girl with a duck and then a bouquet of flowers. Very cute. I said it was a massive haul, you guys. I wasn't joking around. Cute little spools of thread. Very cute little design. Here's some little cute little hand-drawn flower look design. Oh, a crayon. Very cute stamp. Okay, and this one says, wishing you the, wishing you the, wishing you the something. I think it says, wishing you the merriest, but I can't really read that bottom word. Uh-huh. Also is a cute little wooden shelf stamp with hearts. Very sweet. Very cute. A little, little droplet stamp. Again, very cute. There's a smaller bucket of paint stamp. A cute little park bench stamp. A really fun design. Just a triangle, a couple dots, and a little. Always cute. Uh huh. Here is another frame stamp. This one is um, got a flower design on it. Very, very, very pretty. Almost done, you guys. I know. This is, like I said, massive stamp haul. Cute little heart and thread and needles. Very, very sweet. Stamp of a little country home. Very cute. A small paintbrush. Tiny little paintbrush. Okay, what is this? Um... I'm not sure what this is. I don't quite know what that is supposed to be. But it's an interesting design. Kind of looks like a duck. No, 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 no. I had it upside down. Okay. It's a bar of soap and some bubbles. It actually says the word soap. Okay. I guess you have to be smarter than the wooden stamp to be able to figure it out. It happens. <laughs> Here's a nice little square bar design. Cute little, little girl reading a book. Looks like out in the country, outside. Very sweet basic line stamp very basic line stamp yeah i didn't know what that soap was man i was looking at it all wrong <laughs> the little girl that uh, playing looks like dress up with an oversized hat shoes and purse very cute another big one with of course the freaking price tag right smack dab on the front all right, this one's cute with a bunch of flowers. Very sweet. And then one final one, last one, last one. And then I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put all these. Now this is um, called Stampa Rosa House Mouse Designs 1998, licensed by copyright. And it has a few different stamps on here. It has a candle. It has a 
I believe that's like a swan. I think that might be a marshmallow. Kind of looks like a marshmallow to me, but not fully sure. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I think I get it now. Okay. So, this is like a cup or basket or something. And we recognize the candle. Maybe this is frosting or a strawberry. That's probably supposed to be a strawberry. Yeah, looks like a strawberry to me. And I don't know, a marshmallow? A piece of cake? I don't know what that's supposed to be. But yeah, this is uh, the final one. All right, guys, I don't know how many stamps those that was, but as you can see, it was a massive amount of stamps. Um, I'm going to have to let Cameo know that she can pick up her doctor's bag, which is what was holding all of them. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I am going to continue watching videos. Today I'm watching um, videos from a couple of years ago posted by the neighbors. And then after that, after I get caught up on watching all the videos that they've ever posted, then I'm going to Simply Tweez channel and uh, going to do the same over there. Start from the first video she ever posted and work my way forward to the future. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing and I'm trying to stay off my, my hips today and let them rest, which is challenging when there's stuff that I want to do that would have me up and belt. But I'm going to be good, stay off my hips today, take a day of just resting, and then I can get back to it tomorrow. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to link below Cameo's channel. Thank you so much for the donation of all this amazing uh, wooden mounted stamps Cameo. I'm also going to link below the neighbors since I mentioned them here in this video and Simply Twee. Please go show all those channels some support. Um, there will be links once I post this to YouTube and yeah, thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye.